Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. I'm having to do this to my front window because it's very cold and wet and nasty outside. So uh, I don't want to get cold. So I'm going to here. Um, I'm going to Cracker Barrel today. Um, Cracker Barrel does not have a drive through, but they do have call ahead and where you can come ahead and keep like carry out, like pick it up. So uh, I've already ordered my food. I'm going to go pick it up and I'll tell you about it when I get back. But uh, I wanted to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving if you're in the United States. For everybody else, happy Thursday. And um, yeah, hope you're having a great day one way or the other, eating a lot of food or just uh, working and taking it easy. So anyway, I'll be right back once I go get my food. Okay, I got my food and um, I'm gonna go through the receipt and what I got. I got the uh, fried turkey, which is right there. Um, it, I got a lot of ice water. Um, let's see, nope, I didn't say well. Anyway, fried. Uh, it's country fried turkey. It's got gravy on it macaroni and cheese um, the turkey by the way is seasonal it's only available till like december 30th i believe um, so get it now if you can um, the green bean casserole which also seasonal only available till the end of december two biscuits and some cranberry sauce so that's the that's what i got uh, to buy the um let's see i have to take off a little bit four, four. it was about 12 right around twelve dollars so i'm it's not dead on because I, I bought a couple other things in there but it's it's right around twelve dollars for this i don't think that's bad for the amount of food you get i mean that's a lot of food two biscuits and about two pieces of turkey and the green bean casserole and everything that's a lot of food for a 12 something so anyway i've gotten burgers that were that much so let me set my camera up and uh, i'll be right back okay i'm gonna try the macaroni and cheese first just because i think it'll get cold fastest um it's a it's a pretty decent amount of uh, macaroni and cheese. It's like a really good spoon and a half, maybe two spoonfuls of macaroni and cheese. I think it's pretty good. But so here we go. Hmm. It's good. It's your basic macaroni and cheese. It's not it's not anything super special, but it's not bad either. I do like the the macaroni the cheese itself has a good creamy macaroni i mean a good cheese feel it's not like a uh, a powdered cheese so that that's good i like that that it's actually uh tastes like cheese now for the green bean casserole i probably have not had green bean casserole in i couldn't tell you how long i mean it's been a long 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 time it kind of looks gross kind of gray um, but i know everybody says it's it's awesome and i think I think my mom used to make it ages ago when, when we used to have, uh, when she used to make Thanksgiving dinner, but, um, but I can't remember. Of course, you got to have the fried onions. It's not green bean casserole without fried onions. It's not bad. Um, oh, let me get a napkin out, so I'm not got stuff all over my chin um it tastes like um green beans maybe a mushroom soup of some kind no no it's got something like a like a cream of something cream of mushroom or something soup and then you got the onions on top um overall pretty good i like i like the flavor of it um probably not my favorite i'd probably rather have the hash brown casserole but i think this is really good Yeah, so if you like green bean casserole, I would definitely give that a try. Okay, now I'm going to try, I know it's going to sound weird, but I'm going to try a biscuit. I'm trying to save the turkey for last. The biscuits are, are they look more like rolls than biscuits, but... Hmm. Kind of flaky on the inside. They're not super dry, they're very, they're, um... They're good and flaky, very flavorful. They're not hard and dry. That's a good thing. Those are good biscuits. So they still remind me a bit of a roll, but they're still really good. So anyway, all right, now for the turkey. This is what I'm excited about. And I'm gonna try it without the cranberry sauce. I asked for cranberry sauce on the side I actually asked for cranberry sauce. I, I'm assuming they would give you some. I don't know that. So um, if you're going to order this, just make sure make sure you ask um, if it comes with cranberry sauce. Okay. 
There we go. That's pretty good. You know what's funny? The guy told me that they, they use the same breading. I thought it would be the same breading they used on their country fried steak, and it's not. He said this is the same breading they use on their, um, what do you say, Sunday chicken or Sunday fried chicken or something. Anyway, it's a fried chicken breading, and uh, it tastes like fried chicken, except it's turkey instead of chicken. Um, they could have done two chicken breasts, and it would have been basically the same thing, except this is just really, really, um, really good. I mean, I love that. Uh, I love that direct, the, the breading they put on top of that. The gravy's good. They don't give you enough of it to really super taste it, but but it is really good. Let me try a little bit, a little bit of this cranberry sauce. The cranberry sauce is really hard, by the way. I don't think I got enough to really do anything, but. Hmm. I could taste it a little bit. It adds a little bit of that um, tart cranberry flavor. It feels like it might have been refrigerated or frozen even. Hmm. Cranberry relish is, or cranberry sauce is just not one of those things I care for. So I probably will not eat that. But if you like cranberry, um, it's just, it's okay. There's full-size cranberries in there, though. I mean, I, I had two full-size cranberries in there. You can see kind of what it looks like. So I will not eat this, but, you know, if you like it, get it. If you don't like it, don't get it. Don't eat it. Overall, this is really, really good. Um, the green bean casserole, again, it, it's whatever you like. If you like green bean casserole, you might really love that. Me, personally, I like it. But I think I would rather have their hash brown casserole, which is like one of my favorite, all-time favorite uh, side dishes. And the macaroni and cheese is really, really good too. Um, truth be told, I'll just be honest with you, I usually get double orders of hash brown casserole. That's what I usually get for my sides. Or I get regular green beans, which are really, really good too. Um, these sides are really good, but the, the best part of this meal is definitely the turkey. The turkey is... Uh, phenomenal. So if you go, have a Cracker Barrel in your area and you can go out before um, the end of December, uh, definitely go out and try it out. And the the um, the call ahead worked really good. She told told me to give her like 10, 10 to 15 minutes before it's ready. I was at work and drove down the road, picked it up with no problem at all, and, um, and got it. And, and here we are. So this is excellent. I would give this, I would give that turkey they should have this on their menu all year long because I would give that a five all day long. The sides, the sides by themselves are okay. The green bean casserole is okay. Um, those are probably more like three, maybe fours. Um, I won't go as low as a three, but they're def they're they're not super superb or phenomenal. So I would give them like a four. But their biscuits are really good. I would give those like a four. But the chick, the turkey, the ch the country fried turkey is a five all day long i would get this anytime so um so anyway i hope you enjoyed this and if you if it is thanksgiving in the united states for you i hope you enjoyed your day eat plenty of food and enjoy family and friends um if it's not if you're not in the united states or it's not thanksgiving anymore then um i hope you just had a good day anyway so catch you next time